2018 is here. And you know what that means, don't you? It means it's time to look back at 2017. I start that off by reviewing how I did on my goals, which I wrote down in this beautiful moleskin black book. They are a sponsor of this video, moleskin. Buy them. Number one, learn a new instrument. Now thankfully every year, one of my best friends Spencer and I have a tradition where we send each other a new instrument every year on our birthday. Two years ago he sent me this, and last year he sent me this. I'm gonna give that a check. Number two, win an award. This happened. A date in 2025. Check, I've won two awards with a date in 2025 and the film festival circuit. Number three, finish at least two full feature length scripts. This is another check. Not only did I finish one of my long passion projects abroad, but I also wrote a brand new project that I was hired to write called Iron Ice. I'm working with my uncle Brad Turner on it and a big team. It should turn out into hopefully a really great movie. Number four, feature off the ground. Now, I've said this every year. For you watch this every single year. It is a big lifelong goal of mine to get a feature done. I'm gonna give this an X, but this year I've gotten closer than I've ever gotten. While I am writing my own stuff, over the fall I open up submissions to get a bunch of comedy feature screenplays. I probably have too many exciting options, but you throw a lot of lines out, one of them's gonna catch, right? Right? Five, new video with over a million views. This is an X. I didn't do that. I haven't been focused on making as many web videos this year. Didn't do it. Six, new country. I assume I meant go to a new country, which in case is a check. I started the year off by going to Southeast Asia, Vietnam, and Thailand. Sell a script, okay? This is an X. Did not sell a script. I was hired to write a script, but I did not sell one. Eight, revamp website. That is a check. My brother and I worked all summer to get a brand new website up for me. I'm super excited about it. I think it's super professional looking and clean and sleek. All the good descriptions that you could imagine on a website, this is this has got it. And bonus, get hired on a recognizable brand's project. Yeah, that's a check. What do you get for bonuses? Over the summer, I flew out to Dallas to do a commercial for avocados from Mexico and Dos Equis. Great. How did I do this year? Well, I think I did better than I've probably ever done. I feel good about that. I feel good. So let's get back into the year for me. 2017 was a year where I really slowed down and focused on what I want to do, and that is make narrative projects. The big project, the big overarching umbrella for all of 2017 is a date in 2025. Now last year I talked about shooting it over the summer, but this year was all about finishing it, completing it. We had a huge premiere event for the film where we brought everyone out and celebrated finishing it. It's played in a number of different festivals, including LA Shorts, Holly Shorts, the San Jose International Shorts Film Festival, the Highland Park International Film Festival, Heartland Film Festival, and it'll be playing in Love Your Shorts in Florida coming up. It's been cool to meet other filmmakers in the festival circuit, meet new friends, just overall have a great time and celebrate the film. And it's when you attend things like that that you know this is exactly what I wanna be doing. So besides the date in 2025, the year started out with some Warp Zone projects, the first of being Old Man Logan in real life. Now this was a super fun parody to shoot. Uh, we shot an old church and made it look like a retirement home, asking the question, what would Logan be doing if he actually was old in a retirement home? We had a bunch of extras, we had a bunch of different scenes, and I, I, I had a blast filming this with them. Up uh, next was a one-two switch parody. Now, for those that don't know, the one-two switch is a cheesy game. And there are also games that are pretty basic to do. So they parodied that by having them play old school games like rock, paper, scissor, and other silly things that you don't need a video game system to play. I did a couple more projects with them, a sketch called John Spider-Man. There's a lot of people that look like celebrities or have names like celebrities. Well, John Spider-Man is just a lowly office worker who just happens to look like Spider-Man. I did a sponsored Madden 17 video with them that was fun. We got a parody the Friday Night Lights gritty sports speech movie feel. So besides working with the Warp Zone, I also took a new stand-up class. Now a year ago I challenged myself to do stand-up comedy for the first time. I never continued doing it, so why not sign up for another class and force myself to do it again? I took Tom Clark's class again, which I highly recommend, and I had a blast. And then Matthew Hart, who wrote Date in 2025, he came to me with a new project. Now NASA's Cinespace had a contest going on that was judged by Richard Linklater, and Matt came to me with a short he wanted to make for it. This was an animated short. I've never done an animated piece before with a live action section. So we went to my friend Doug Herman, who had done an amazing job on the visual effects for a date in 2025. And we came to him with an idea and said, hey, is this at all possible to do? Now, Doug had recently just partnered with this company called Gaudy Creative. They wanted a project to work on and we had just a thing. So they worked on animating it. We shot the live action section and we made this short film called NASA's Ark. I'm really, really proud of this. We ended up casting the very talented Elaine Part now. We got a young girl, Luma, 
to play the cute little girl. My friend Danielle came on to help. She worked at NASA. I was so proud of what we were able to accomplish in such a short amount of time. We submitted it to the contest. And while we didn't get into the, even the finals, really, it is a short film I'm super proud of doing. I don't have a link here because it's on Vimeo, but you can see it by clicking down below or going to my website and watching it. As I said in my beginning checklist, I also was flown out to Dallas to do an Avocados from Mexico, Dos Equis, and also a Walmart commercial. This was shot in a Brady Bunch style, which provided a lot of challenges. We had to give eye lines to people on a green screen, help them interact with each other, even though they weren't actually next to each other in a grid. This was a cool opportunity to work with Christian Bettini and Wealthy Minds, his company. And it was cool to get back into directing commercials again. While all this was going on, I had a very fruitful year for work. I was working with companies like Food Beast and the Marriott Hotels, Riding Projects, Jolly Road Productions, and just keeping really busy. Now for New Year's this year, I went to New Orleans. That's not how they talk there. And that's about it for this year. I have a lot of goals for the new year. I'm writing them all down in this handy dandy notebook. Why that accent again? Now 2018 has started out pretty intense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quite honest. That's why my voice is like this. Now, uh, it's time to get to work. <laughs> 2018, let's go!